Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 29 of my Minecraft 1.18 Hardcore Survival Let's Play. Yes, we will be looking at 1.19 stuff next week, but we got to do some preparation, guys. We've got to prepare. I want full netherite armor because I can't stand, and I want full mending armor. I, I can't stand not having it and going and seeing the warden. I want to make a little base in the mangrove swamp, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of that fun stuff. It's going to be amazing. But in this episode, we're finally going to clean up this mess. <laughs> as much as I love chests and shulker boxes strung about the floor, I don't like it. All right, they're all they're all over the place. I, I, I don't like it. In the last episode, you can see what we did. We finally put a floor in the volcano. Yes, that took an entire episode. It was a massive, massive undertaking. Okay, so we're going to be doing something I can guarantee that you have never once seen before in Minecraft. Like, I'll just guarantee it right now. And uh, you saw from the thumbnail and the title that I'm going to be putting volcanoes, miniature volcanoes, housing, for instance, chess rooms, villager breeders, farms, iron farm, all this stuff. There's going to be miniature volcano, including a central volcano that contains all of our creepers, which that one conveniently fell at the perfect time. Uh, we'll make a central volcano for the creepers. So we just gotta start laying, I mean, guys, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna have seven mini volcanoes inside of one giant volcano, which if you haven't seen the volcano, maybe the, your, maybe this, this video blew up and, and, and new people are watching it, I doubt it. But this is my main base, a volcano, which I have not terraformed the outside yet, but I will be doing that on live streams. And uh, I'm gonna say this, Join my Discord server. Link is in the description. I will send out a notification whenever I start streaming. Keep in mind, all my streams will be uploaded, uh, but you do have to remember that sometimes if you want to watch it live, it won't tell you that it's live, so I'll send you that in the Discord. So, Okay, that's enough self-advertisement. We're going to get to work on these volcanoes. Okay, <clears throat> so I think I want to build the chest volcano first, and I want to use blocks that are kind of in the palette of, you know, a chest kind of brown-ish, and maybe use some dirt and stuff like that. Problem being, I that's all the dripstone blocks I have. So, we're going to go gather some dripstone blocks, which means we get to adventure a little bit and find some caves. We're going to have to do this for quite a few of the volcanoes. Keep in mind, we can't use anything flammable, so no wool volcanoes and no wooden volcanoes. Luckily, this nether wood is, uh, is, is fireproof, which is pretty sweet. But uh, I have a line on where I can get some rooted dirt, potentially. Um, there is a very, very, very large, lush cave under here. So maybe... What is this, by the way? I want to know. What is this? This is just a geode? Is this a double geode? Wait, guys, hold on. Double geode confirmed? Yeah, dude. I think that actually is a double geode. Uh, wait, isn't that really close to where we are, too? Yeah, like, that's our little uh, auxiliary base. And then that's the double geode. Okay, I'm gonna go sleep before it gets dark. Hold on. So yeah, the plan is like have a villager breeder volcano, have a chest volcano, some automatic farm volcanoes, potentially do some sort of iron farm volcano or build an iron farm above this that kind of falls into that central volcano. Maybe we could do the automated farms up there. W one thing I did want to do is potentially uh, have like a secure loot storage up top. And what I mean by that is we have kind of an impenetrable defense, right? If I were to place my diamonds netherite in any of their rare materials. Also, we're going to build an entrance to this thing at some point. I can't stand the door. Um, this would be a nice place to put them, right? Because it's going to be kind of difficult uh, for, for things to get in here because it's, well straight lava right and I can fly over it and totally risk my life but other people mobs you know or whatever there's not really other people on the world but it's single player so who's that okay but I did want to explore this double geode I don't think I have personally ever found a double geode and and I think this is double I, I don't know we're gonna get inside and find out I don't want to break any of the special spawn blocks it's not a double geode never mind it just really looked like one um, <clears throat> well, one of the volcanoes can definitely be made of this stuff and this stuff. So, yeah, smooth basalt and calcite. I'm going to go ahead and collect all this stuff uh, because I'd really like to build. <gasps> we could build an amethyst volcano. Ooh. And it looks like most of these crystals are. Oh, wow. We actually get the cluster. Oh, because we have silk touch. Um, we, we don't get those, right? No, we don't. Okay. Um, so I'll make sure not to break those. But if I get all of these amethyst crystals because they have been like large amethyst bud ah can i just like put no it's storming <laughs> i hate storms can you put them on any block you can okay um well the point i was trying to make was that these are all like fully grown 
because these chunks have been loaded for a long time. Man, it's really storming out there, dude. It's kind of spooky in here. So I'm going to collect all these. It's it, 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 it's just nice because these chunks have been loaded a lot. So that means all these crystals are grown. Um, but yeah, I'm going to collect all the amethyst in here. We'll definitely make an amethyst volcano, which will probably like have this stuff on it too. Or we can make a separate one with the white material. I don't know. But let me collect all this stuff real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some shulker boxes from our base since we're so close, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I really need some shulker boxes and then I'm gonna need another pickaxe because this one's probably gonna break. And plus, since it is a thunderstorm, you can technically sleep during the day, uh, which is super helpful. Is there a way to fly when you're underwater? No, okay, well, it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna fly back home and uh, I'm gonna grab some shulker boxes because we're not gonna have enough inventory space. Like, oh my gosh, why did they never fix that? Okay, in 1.19, which will load up. Oh my gosh, there are monsters. Okay, do not do not approach me, monster, or I will get scared. Are these all empty? No, we still have some wood in there, and that one's not empty. So we do have another pickaxe. I don't think I can repair this pickaxe. Um, it's been uh, it's been through the ringer to say the least. We've used it for quite a bit. Is this one I've silk touched to? No, just fortune. That's fine. Um, but yeah, we need these shulker boxes because we're going to have a lot of stuff. Um, but this is going to be kind of, this is kind of exciting to be able to build your own custom volcanoes and you can use whatever materials you want. All right, guys. Well, I've gotten, I think, everything I'm going to need for an amethyst volcano as well as a volcano with any of those other uh, the smooth basalt. I think. I, I don't really know how much. May, okay, I'll get more basalt. Um, probably some more amethyst too. Hold on. All right. I'm done harvesting this bad boy. <laughs> I don't think we need any more of the materials in here. Let's see in total what we got. Uh, everything related to it. Uh, yeah, that'll be enough for an amethyst volcano for sure. Now, I think the white stuff will be for something else, which is fine. But we need to go find dripstone. And I really don't know where dripstone is. Like, I'll be completely honest. I, I don't. And also, this is cool because when this grows, it cuts off the water flow. So it's kind of like random whenever... Oh, it's about to be dark again. That's actually fine if it is. Uh, yep, it's about to be dark again. That's fine. We need to go find where a dripstone cave is. So I don't want to explore anything too far in that direction because 1.19 stuff is where I'm going to go that way. So I'm going to go slightly towards home. And whenever I find something dripstone related, I will come back because I don't think it's going to be that hard, right? Probably not. I shouldn't have said that. Okay, well, just in the nick of time, I found what appears to be some sort of mega cave. I see a creeper floating in the bottom. We should be okay to go in here, I'm thinking. Is it a true mega cave? I don't know. It goes down deep, deep, deep. Fall in the water so we don't kill ourselves. And there's diamond. <laughs> well, that's great. That's that's absolutely great. I'm not looking for diamond, though. I still, I, The Minecrafter within. I mean, I have to get the diamond. Uh, the question is how? Oh, I have some cobblestone. Where is it again? Okay, it's up there. I know you guys can barely see, but I'll come back when I find dripstone stuff. This this episode is supposed to be more of, like, the volcanoes itself. Is this fortune three? Okay. Uh, how much was it? Oh, four diamonds? Let's go, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna fly out of here, because this is not... Oh my gosh. Okay, is this dripstone? No. Why are there so many geodes? I usually have so much trouble finding geodes. Look. There's a geode right there. There's a geode right over there. Isn't that crazy? This big over here? No, not really. It's so dangerous to fly around like this. I need to stop. <laughs> so I'll just keep kind of flying around until I can find a dripstone cave. I assume that's probably the same one. Um, oh my gosh. Wait, is this the big thing? Yeah, I remember this is that big old cave that I had found. And there is dripstone around here. Just let me find it. I Because I remember saying, I need to make one of those... Uh, infinite like you know lava generators so i think there's dripstone around here let me just see if i can find it okay welcome to the dripstone caves uh they were pretty far away from where i thought they were unfortunately um but now i'm going to collect a bunch of this stuff so we can make a volcano out of this this is going to be for our greatest volcano our chest volcano so uh don't mind me I'm gonna collect what is this stuff even called dripstone block gonna collect some dripstone block 
getting into a lot of fights here, guys. A lot of skeletons don't want me taking their dripstone. I don't know what to do. I'm in trouble. I'm actually not in trouble. Um, so I think I have close to enough dripstone. It's really nice to collect because it's in... Oh, this is a big one. Um, I was going to say, it's really nice to collect because it's in these big clumps. Um, but I think I have enough. Let's see. This is our empty shulker box. Oh, I thought I heard a skeleton coming. Um, so that's what I've collected so far. I'll probably get some more. Um, yeah, I'll get some more and then I'll come back. I don't know what we're going to need next, but we'll go handle these three volcanoes and then we'll see uh, what other stuff we can come up with. I kind of want an ore cano, an ore volcano. Uh, I don't know why. I, I just feel like that would be cool, right? So we need a lot of coal ore and stuff like that. I can run around and find some ores. I don't think that would actually be very difficult. Um, I don't know. That could be kind of cool. I want to do maybe a grass cano. Like, a, you know, made out of, like, with some grass and dirt and stuff like that. Oh, I got all these cool ideas floating in my head now. Okay, let me keep on grinding. Maybe even a lush volcano? Hmm. Okay, so I got finished getting dripstone. Now, for my ore cano, I'm just going to gather a bunch of ores like this uh, diamond ore here. And I uh, got a little bit of redstone. I think that'll look pretty cool. Now, the problem is, is that do I want to use only deep slate ores? Or do I want to use, like, you know the regular OG ores, and uh, maybe we could do a mix, but then would the volcano look weird? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't have the answer, I'm just kind of thinking out loud. Maybe, since we're down here, we'll do it out of deep slate ores, I don't know. How much harder is it gonna be to only use deep slate ores? I mean, that's a good question to ask. I mean, I really don't have the answer, I don't know, quit looking at me. Maybe, yeah, we'll, we'll use deep slate ores. That way, it looks nice and congruent. Uh, Nice and consistent, I guess would be a better word. I think congruent is more for, like, geometry. Ooh, haven't picked up lapis blocks before. Nice. Okay, well, that's what I'm going to be doing next. Then I'll meet you guys back at the volcano. We're going to build these three or four volcanoes and uh, get to work on giving them some function and cleaning up the base a little bit because I am so happy that we're finally not going to have a giant <laughs> pile of shulker boxes and chests. Oh, it was terrible. Right, I'll tell you what, guys. I've been having some real good luck. Uh, I don't know that I've found that many more diamond. We have eight diamond ore. Look at all these ores, guys. And I wanted to come back because I found one of those just beautiful caves. And, uh, it looks like it opens up into a nice lush cave. And, I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. We could even do, like, a brick Kano. You know what I mean? Wouldn't that be kind of interesting? I don't know. I actually don't know how interesting that would be or not. <laughs> like, just bricks. I kind of want to use, like, a palette of materials for each volcano. Right? So, like, I'm not just going to use, like, one material. That's like the only other lap as I had found. But yeah, I'm really happy that I've found all these ores. I thought that I was, you know, it was going to be slow going or whatever. Um, but no, it's actually doing pretty, we're actually doing pretty good, guys. We're actually doing pretty good. Um, yeah, I just wanted to come back because I, I found a beautiful part of the cave. I was like, I got to show, I got to show the viewers, you know. I feel bad if I don't show it. Okay, back to ores. Okay, guys. Well, I'm finally back at home. Um, I want to be able to, so like, I feel like our chest should be right here. For If the entrance is going to be right here, um, we can store ores in the ore cano, which I put, <laughs> ore cano, <laughs> sounds very Oklahoman of me. Um, I got to get all the ores out of here, because I know that I had some ores, not like a ton, oh, they're all, <laughs> okay, well, I'll grab the what I have. <laughs> I thought I had a little bit, but whatever, it's okay. Um, I think it should just be like solid straight ore. Um, I think that would get, come across very well. And then we're going to do our chest Kano right here, which I think this one had all the stuff for the chest stuff. Okay. And then this one, there was some stuff in here. I wanted to do an, just straight amethyst. I, I think the amethyst is going to contain all those. It's gonna, just going to be like a geode. Um, I don't know what will go in that one. I have no idea. And then last but not least, we have, okay, so we have the... Wait, that's three. That's the only three we have done anything for. Okay, cool. Okay, let's build them now, and let's see what they turn out to be. So I'll build a little bit of them on camera. They're not going to be, like, super huge. Don't don't get me wrong. They're not going to be, like, tiny. Um, but some stuff may have to go underwater. Um, if I'm going to do, like, a villager breeder or something, it's not going to fit in the volcano. Um, at least most of it. So dripstone, which is, that's kind of a brownish block. I was going to see, is there any other blocks that would fit in that palette? Definitely not sand. Maybe terracotta. Maybe terracotta would, but we don't have a source of terracotta. Hmm, let me think. Brain blast! <laughs> you guys, did any of you? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I forgot a sugar cane. Any of you guys watch uh, 
A little bit of Jimmy Neutron. Oh, that's right. There was an Enderman here, and it got trapped in the boat. I remember that. That was funny. Uh, any of you guys watch Jimmy Neutron growing up? Any of you that age? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect a bunch of clay. That was my brain blast. Um, wow, there's no clay under here. <laughs> okay. Never mind. We'll go collect clay somewhere else. Over here. Clay, show yourself. No, there's no clay. This is a Fortune 3, right? Nope. I need to go get my Fortune 3 shovel. Hold on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna collect clay, and then you just smell clay blocks, and that's how you make terracotta. I didn't know that, so terracotta and that dripstone are literally perfect. They look almost the exact same, so, uh, terracotta and dripstone it is. Okay, I must have broken my Fortune 3 shovel when I was digging all the sand out of here, so never mind. Okay, well, it turns out there's, I guess, not very much clay in the ocean. Maybe it's more so in rivers, so I've been having a little bit of trouble actually finding. Can I make myself stand? I can still mine clay, like, really fast underwater, which is amazing. Um... Only question being, how much clay do I need? So is it four per... Yeah, okay, so we're gonna need quite a bit of clay. Hmm. And yeah, the, the way we're getting it now is a little slow. I'm gonna go where I know there's a ton of clay back at my old base. I think I'll, I'll get it there, but we gotta get a few, uh, few rockets out of the boom box. I promise, we'll get the building soon. Okay, I got five stacks of clay blocks. I don't think I'm gonna need any more, so let's go smelt them. All right, now we're just gonna throw them. Let's see, we have enough coal for sure. So we'll go ahead and throw the stacks in there and uh, split this in in half and now we just gotta wait. All right, well I'm tired of waiting on this terracotta to smelt. It's still not smelted. There's not too much more to go, I guess, but I don't know, I feel like it's taking forever. So the dripstone is gonna have to wait. Let's move on to something else. I know I wanted to do the chest one first too, but that's okay if we can wait a little bit. Should we go for the ore cano? The question, I don't know if we actually have enough ore, so what we could do is supplement it with some other deep slate, potentially, uh, the non-cobbled form. So the problem was is that I was using a silk touch pickaxe and I didn't really realize it, and I have a bunch of actual deep slate and not cobbled deep slate. So maybe we can use this and then kind of add the ores in after, something like that. Uh, now the other big question is how big do we want these volcanoes to be? Um, I don't know, like, I feel like that's too big. This is going to be the center. It's going to pour into the volcano. It's going to kind of feed them um, in a way. And also, I don't want them to be too circular, but I don't want them to be, like, weirdly shaped. And why are these blocks directional? Why, Mojang, why you got to make everything all directional now? Um, I, I want them to be round, but I don't want them to be, like, perfectly round, if, if, if you catch my drift. So maybe something like this. Let's see, how, how does this shape look? That looks fine to me, and it leaves enough room in between the volcanoes. Also gives us a ton of room to work with. Okay. Um, now the question is, how do you build a miniature scale of what we built? Um, and that's another question I don't have the answer to. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to like go up by maybe two blocks at a time. Maybe? I don't know. Like that's good. It's kind of the creative. Uh, you can use your own creative freedom here to do whatever you want. Um, also, I got to see this shape. Is this shape like two oblong and not round um no this is this is fine again it's not supposed to be perfectly round so i think i'll build up by like two on the bottom so i'm gonna go around and kind of build this thing up a little bit if there's some stuff sticking off the bottom that's actually fine i probably shouldn't have gone around and done that and like removed it but it's okay so we'll go up by like one for right now see that's all diagonal that just looks weird hold on maybe we could go out one here and then Something like that, sure, it really doesn't matter. It's just when you start to build it up, it'll kind of like copy the pattern that it is, if that makes sense. So we have one here, and then we can, maybe we can go up by one on the next one, and then two on the next one, something like that, right? And uh, I don't know what's gonna be in here, probably some chest storage for ores, or ore processing, or something. Maybe this is where we could smelt stuff. We could do a furnace volcano, no, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna make a volcano out of furnaces. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna build this layer and then I'll build a couple more layers We'll come back and we'll start to see how it looks Okay, so I'm a few layers into this and uh, it's shaping up pretty well um, I just have to be mindful as I'm building these that the center does indeed have to be on that lava So it gives me something to kind of work toward although this one <laughs> This one's just a little funky looking because it's like not at all close to that. So I don't really know how to fix that because the this side is like way too close. So maybe I could have this side go up a little bit more or something like that. I mean, it, I really don't know. I don't know what the I don't know what the solution is here. It's already kind of big, but if you look at it from the ground, I don't know if that's like uh 
I mean, that is volcano shaped. Oh, gosh. I think we need to go up one more block. I think that's going to be... I think that's going to be the answer. So I'm going to go up one more like this. Maybe go up by two on this layer or something. And again, it's, I got to remember that it's okay to mess up on these. Like you kind of actually want to. That way it looks more natural. Unless like I went around and like, you know, went up layer by layer. So something like this. And then maybe this one will be a too high one. Like this kind of, you know what I mean? Like only selectively too high, right? And I think it's okay if the, the lava flow isn't like perfectly set in the middle i think that'll be okay especially when you look at it like from the ground and stuff i think it's gonna it's an end up looking pretty cool and then of course you have to go back in here and add all the ores and stuff like that um i don't know if i'll have lava flows coming off of these though i, I probably don't think so um and i assume i'm gonna have to get maybe a one lava bucket yeah we'll have to go get one which is fine that's okay i have a ton of extra lava like still this terracotta still isn't done after all this time. We well, only have a little bit more though, which is good. But yeah, we have a, a couple of extra lava buckets. I assume each one of these is gonna need one. And yeah, it looks like a nice, uh, a nice volcano. I think once once we get a bunch of them down, it'll kind of, it'll end up looking pretty cool. So we'll put one lava bucket right there. Is that good? Is that gonna cover everything? No, one more. Okay, that's fine. Now, as I look at this thing from the outside. Like, is it dark? Oh, it's dark. Yeah, that does look like a volcano. I was going to say, at first it didn't really, but now it's like a miniature volcano. Okay, cool. And then we just have to figure out, you know, where do we want the entrance to it? Probably we want them all in the center. So, like, the entrance could be, like, for example, like, right here. That's perfect. And then you can come on the inside. And now what we're going to need is some more of that wood to fill in the lava holes, some shroom lights, and we should be good to go. Okay. So I'm just going to put one of these here. And then as for lighting in here, it'll just be kind of sporadic again. I don't know what's going to go in these quite yet. We're just going to get them all built. The only one I know what I'm going to put in for sure is the chest one. I just don't want to deal with it. Um, I don't want to deal with our chest situation anymore. It's it's like causing me stress. I like I like don't want to come onto the world as stupid as that sounds because I have to deal with this just wad of chess. Uh, it sounds silly, doesn't it? When I say it out loud. I don't know. It's just one of those things, guys. Just one of those things. So, how many of these we're going to need? Yeah, we have every type of ore here now. Okay. So, I'm going to go around and just kind of randomly place the ores. For example, you'll put a lapis there. You know, you could put a, a diamond right there. Pretty much just completely randomly placing ores. So, I will come back when I have finished and I feel like I've uh, applied the ores somewhat randomly. Okay, well, I'm actually pretty happy about this. I've been going around and kind of, you know, putting as much <laughs> love into this thing as I possibly can. And I don't really think there's any places on it that I'm missing anything. And look, we now have ourselves our very first, a world first volcano within a volcano. The Orcano. Pretty sweet. And within this, there's actually a lot of room. Because this base is so big, I think my, like, whole perspective is kind of messed up. Because when you go inside, like... This is fairly large. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. So I don't think we're going to have any sorts of problems just stacking chests or whatever you may want to put in here. Oh, yeah. Looking pretty sweet. So we'll go ahead and put the ore Kano stuff into here. And uh, we'll move on to our next contestant. The chest Kano. <laughs> uh, let's see. The terracotta is surely done. Okay. I'm just going to say. Now, I don't know that I necessarily needed this much but it's not going to be a bad thing so we're going to have to kind of randomly place these blocks and as you guys remember there's a very good way to actually do this like you know truly random you just have to space the materials out like this so there's going to be more dripstone than there is terracotta and that's fine and what i do is i unlock my scroll wheel i go ham on it like this and then you just kind of build and uh, it will uh, successfully randomize whatever you're doing so this is going to be the next or the next volcano, my bad. It's going to be this wonderful chest cano, um, which I'm trying to make a little bit bigger. As you can see, the scroll wheel kind of slowed down there. I'm trying to make it a little bit bigger than the other one. That way we can fit a bunch of chests in here. And uh, I think that's pretty good. I think maybe if I... Hmm, do I want to make it any bigger? I think it'll be okay, but it's a little bit off center, <laughs> as you guys can see. So I may want to either make this side smaller 
or make this side bigger, but it's already getting kind of close to our Orcano here. So let me, let me mess around with it for a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to go for a total redo on this one. Um, it's better to get the base right than have to correct it up top like I did with that one. Um, it's still fine. I'm not expecting them to all be like in the center or anything by any means. Um, but I'd really like for it to be as good as it can be. So what we can do is we could technically use some blocks to kind of measure, measure out like... Uh, I don't know. That almost feels too artificial. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this again. We're going to unlock... Oh gonna not change the mouse sensitivity unlock the scroll wheel and then just kind of kind of go at it and we'll see if we can end up with a better shape if not then that's okay okay this is a disaster okay hold on all right well this is like the fourth time going back and doing it again i get so frustrated i don't know i need to i need to take a second and chill out i don't know what is going on but it's like it's not it's not working right like this is too far too like too much too far of a curve or something I don't know. We'll try this. Maybe this will work here. If we, if we do it on the camera, can we get some camera magic here? No, because see, that's not circular at all. It's not supposed to be, you know, like, not circular, but it can't be, like, just weirdly shaped. Is that too, that's not too close. No, but see, then that side's just, like, straight flat. That can't, that can, that can't be like that. It's so hard to use the scroll wheel when it's unlocked. It really is tricky. Okay, true random. Okay. This this is a better shape. And like for the chest cane, kind of, but that's the problem. It's like I don't want them to all be different sizes because this one is significantly bigger than this one. I think. Isn't it? Isn't this one like significant? Yes, this one is significantly bigger than this one. Is that okay if they're all different sizes? I think that would look somewhat unique. But now I can go around and kind of build it up like this. And the fun part is that, you know, since it is random, like, it'll it'll look really cool. Like, that's what I'm most excited about. Is, like, just s using this scroll wheel feature. If you guys don't use Logitech, I'm not sponsored by Logitech, but I think that a sponsorship by Logitech would be cool because I like the company. Um, but these mice, you can do some cool stuff with them. Unlock that scroll wheel, you can go ham. Because look at that, it's, like, truly random. Um, and I, I, I actually do enjoy this palette. I think it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go around and like I did before, I'm just going to kind of, you know what, we can do a time lapse on this because this is something that would be kind of cool to watch. So enjoy. Okay, so I was I was worried we have to get more terracotta, but we only need to go up one more layer for this thing to like be at the same height as the other volcano. So I decided I'm gonna do them all at the same height. The width may be a little bit different, and that you know kind of makes them unique. But I feel like we're gonna need a lot of chest storage because we're gonna do a lot of big projects. And uh, what better way to do it than having your very own uh, chest cano? Or is that what we're calling a chest cano, right? I really do like this this whole randomizer thing. It makes these pal it makes pallet building so much easier. Cause like look look, look look just look at this. Just look at this. Okay, just 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 give it a little look. That look nice. It's like all properly randomized. Now there is a more dripstone because there's five of these dripstone blocks down here and only four of the terracottas. So there is like slightly more of one material, but whatever, right? Like that's that's not something that's really gonna matter. So I'm trying to stack all this stuff up. Um, so I can get some carrots going and get some of this going. Okay, so now we have to kind of decide how we want to put the chest in there. And then also, how do we want to do this part of it? And I probably shouldn't have done that yet because I actually do need to... Uh... Wait, how do I get where there's five, right? Like this? Yeah. No. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Um, I was say, I need to build like the little drip pan. I don't really know what to call it. Uh, where, where all the stuff sits the uh the lava so i'm trying to get to like down there without having to break any blocks okay i'm gonna have to use a pickaxe there we go i built this thing too well and too consistently i have to use the pickaxe okay 
So I'm going to go around here. I'm going to fill this thing in just like we did with the other volcano. You got to keep in mind. I mean, this one is like significantly larger. I don't know if it's twice as large, but like I'm, I'm still hopeful that the, it'll still look good. Like I can't see why it would look bad necessarily. Um, it is going to look a little bit different, but that's okay, right? I just realized I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done this. What have I done? Why did I do this? No, 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 Lava, don't do it to me. Okay, we're fine. See, look, and it's almost all the way built. I may have to go get some more lava from that big lava area we showed you in yesterday's episode, but, like, hey, whatever. Like, that's pretty easy to do. Um, I need to get some more wood for chests since I decided to spend all of my wood. <laughs> I decided to spend all... Why is it not... Is this still going in there or something? Shouldn't it be, like, going, like, out? No, there's there's no hole or anything, is there? Hold on. So I don't know where to put the door on this one. I guess like over here, something like that. So the door right there is right there. The door right here could be like right here. No, there's no lava coming in here. It does look a little bit strange like that. So I'm going to fill in all those gaps in a second. Hold on. Okay, so now that's done. We just got to do a few touch up things like adding some lights in here. And then we got to add some lights on the exterior as well because it'll be really, really dark otherwise. And I want you guys to be able to see. This will probably be in the chest room quite a bit. It's one of the busiest parts of a Minecrafter's area. Minecrafter's world, even. We'll just use this. Why do I... Oh, because I broke one. I was like, why do I have one? Okay, so this is all kind of lit up good on the outside. Maybe we'll put a little shroom light right there. I'm trying to figure out a way to light up the outside of the volcano since they're going to be a little bit dark. I'd rather them not be dark, but I, there's no, like, invisible light sources that I know of. I know there's ones in creative, but we can't use that. That's the only invisible light source that's, like, truly invisible I know of. Okay, cool. So now the outside is lit up to my satisfaction. Now, putting these down, is this going to, like, actually drip lava onto us, though? Like, will this, like, legit drip lava onto us? Because that wouldn't be great. Uh... Hello, buddy? No? Okay. So, we can kind of add these. I don't know if they grow on their own or how it works. Um, I assume they grow on their own. But, like, for now, we can just kind of... Sure. We can just kind of put them down. We'll just let them do what they're going to do. And once I get enough of them down, I will come back in just a moment. So, let me do that. Oi! How are these dripping? These guys were dripping water. But there, there's no water. Wait, what? Was it a bug or something? It was literally dripping water. I swear to you, I put them... Yeah, look, what are you, where are you getting the water from? Where are you getting the water? There's no water. There's a clay... There's a terracotta block above you. What? I don't know how these guys work. I've really... I've never placed them down. In fact, I didn't even know you could, like, by hand place them and, like, build them out. So it's kind of fun. Kind of cool. But I think I have enough down. I think it looks pretty good. Pretty sweet. It is going to be a drippy area. <laughs> it's going to be dripping quite a bit, but I think that's okay. All right, now, oh man, it's really going to be drippy in here, isn't it? <laughs> it's dripping from the lava, the dripping. These guys are just dripping water for some reason. Okay. I mean, hey, I'm fine with it. If they want to drip, they want to drip. Let the man drip. Um, so now I've got to figure out how am I going to move all my chests in here? And no, sir. No, sir. Come here right now. No, sir. No, sir. I'm not going to have that. All right, well, we're going to have to fill up lava in here, of course, because there's not enough lava. So luckily, we still have enough. Now, transferring all these chests might be a little bit painful because they're all, like, jam-packed full. Pretty much all of them are just completely full, which is fine. I mean, I'm up for the challenge. You know, it's such a challenge. But I may end up making, like, a temporary entrance right here so I can just walk right in. Now, I'm trying to, you know, like, ascertain how much bigger is this... Like, how, how much big? Because I, I can't really tell from the ground. I mean, obviously, I know it's bigger. Is this going to be enough? Oh, come on, dude. Oh, come on, dude. No way. <laughs> You're not going <laughs> to... Okay. Well, I was hoping I wouldn't have to go get more lava buckets, but that's okay. It's going to take... It, it, if you want to be a pain, you can be a pain. This one took a bunch. So I'm going to build up really high with, like, I don't know. Uh, I can build up with these logs right here. Or these planks. And let's just see. How much bigger is this Kano than the other one? Maybe I shouldn't build up so close, but whatever. Um, okay, so it's actually not, it's not as bad as I was thinking in my head. It is bigger, but they're the same height. 
but like that's fine like they're, they're not all gonna be the same size and that one it, there's a good reason it's that big so i'm gonna go get a bunch of wood so we can fill it up with chests um i'll build the rest of the volcanoes like in this episode no we're not gonna fill them all with stuff yet we're gonna have to kind of figure that out um tomorrow i don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow either we're gonna go underwater adventuring and try to get an actual trident oh we need to we need an enchanting one should we make a book cano no that will burn won't it do bookcases burn i don't know i know oak logs would and that's what you'd want to mix it with hmm i don't know we'll, we'll figure out something because the, maybe the center one could be the enchanting because the, the center one's going to be like the biggest because it's going to have to hold all the mobs it's not going to have any lava though Maybe it will. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But I know I need to get a bunch of wood because even, even though we have all these chests, like it's not, it's not enough. And it won't take that long. And I have a big dark oak forest like right over here. So uh, as long as it's not night, then I'm gonna go ahead and jet on over there. I don't know what time it is. I don't know what time of day it is, just because you know the nature of rain. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some dark oak so I can make chests. Okay. Well, I'm back with all the wood. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be enough wood, right? Okay, so hopefully two stacks of chests uh, should be enough, right? Like, like realistically, that's that's probably going to be enough. Okay, so now we have to kind of figure out how we want to put... Oh, yeah, that's right. They can't be like this because the top one can't open. Ooh, oh, three stacks of chests. Oh, four stacks. I did not see those. <laughs> okay, that's why I don't like this quick craft menu because I um, oh, maybe made a few too many chests here. Uh, <laughs> okay, so my question is, do I want, wait, do I, okay, do I want to build them, like, against the walls, or do I want to, like, build a system in here where I can kind of have a bunch of chests? Because, like, otherwise, it's going to be, like, all the chests are going to be, like, this, right, and I'll build, like, some shelf under them, but, like, I feel like this is, like, not, I mean, it's not, like, space inefficient, but it's definitely not efficient. I think that'll be okay. <laughs> it's gonna look kind of funny. I just need to figure out, oh, I could use, oh yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can't figure out what to use for to support them. I'm like, oh dude, you have like 80 stacks of dark oak trap doors. I'll probably just use those. Uh, where'd they go though? Where are the dark, please don't tell me I lost the dark oak trap doors. Oh man. Dude, I know for a fact that I had so many dark oak trap doors. Hold on. Oh yeah. There's chess right here and it's in there. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to place the chess in here. And how I'm going to do it is kind of somewhat random, but like, you know, if there's a wall like this where there's two, then like sure, right? Like up here, the perfect, and then there has to be a one little one. And I'm trying to think like something like that, right? For some nice shelving in here. That way it actually looks like they're supported and then you can even go as far as like sticking them up here. Now the problem with sticking them up here is that if you really truly wanted it to be like, sorry, if you really try, truly wanted the shelf to be under there, then you kind of can't click it except from, and no, actually that's not a problem at all. Oh, I'm kidding. Trying to make a problem out of nothing to you, huh? It looks good actually. I like this. Cool. Well, this turned out better than I thought. Sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna go around here and I'm gonna put all these chests in. Uh, it's probably gonna take a little, to, <laughs> just a little bit of time. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll come back and uh, we'll see how it looks. Cause I, oh yeah, I actually really like that. That turned out way better than I thought. I, I was actually getting kind of like, oh, this isn't gonna look too good, but wow. Okay, cool. Well, hello there. <laughs> just hanging out in my chest, Kano. <laughs> this thing looks really good. I'm actually super happy with how this turned out. I'll be completely honest, about like halfway through it, I lost confidence and then I, it, 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 it just shattered my expectations. Dude, this thing looks sweet. And you can like easily get to the chests and we'll, we'll mark them. The ones that are single chests, um, I don't really know how we'll mark them, but like, dude, it's so easy access. You just, I love this thing. It's so cool. A chest Kano. Okay. Well, now I get to finally... This is the most satisfying thing in the world. Okay, first of all, no more auto smelter just sitting on the floor. No more no more auto smelter. No more this. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> my inventory. Oh my inventory. My inventory. Um I hate to like just put things into a chest just randomly. Um oh I oh I'll show you what I did there in a second. Um so what I did do was I put some trap doors down 
um, over here. I don't really love having like a chest right here, but if this thing's gonna fill up from one night of running, then I feel like I kind of have to. But look, I mixed them. Look, they look they like fit with the floor. Oh, dude, the, this is it's finally turning out good. Okay, now the, you may think like I don't know. I think this is a unique mega base idea. Okay, having a chest Kano, having a ore Kano, having a deep Kano, deep slate. K don't ask me. Um, so we're going to use shulker boxes to move the stuff. And I say we. I am going to use shulker boxes to move the stuff. You're not going to have to watch any of it because it's like literally. I I can't stand when it. Okay, watch this. Boom! It's done. All right, guys, check this out. Ba boom! It's it, it's pretty much gone. The rest of it's in these shulker boxes in my inventory. So the only thing I see left we have to do is fill in that wood little area there, that little blank spot, and then put some shroom lights. And then we'll be moved into here, and then I'll build the rest of these volcanoes, and we'll deal with putting stuff in them later. Because, like, legitimately, I don't think I'm going to be able to... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to think of all the things that need to go in them right now. And I also need some shroom lights, which should be in here. So, I don't really have much organizational structure in there. I mean, I, I have things organized into chests, don't get me wrong. Um, but it's not like I know, you know... I, it's not like they're in a specific pattern we'll put it that way they're organized within the chest though but let me put the rest of the stuff up you know I just thought of we need a house Kano like a you know sleep Kano <laughs> okay I'll stop with that stuff but look everything is in here now um, you know it's as organized as you know oh there's nothing even in there as it can be somewhat you know I got all my nether woods I got all my stones over here you know a lot oh I got all my stones up here Everything is, uh, everything's in its place, and, uh, I'm happy to say that now we have no more random chest spam on the floor. Woo, give me claps. I wish I had an editor that I could put claps in or something. <laughs> I could do it myself, you know, it's just a hard download clap. Anyways, now I'm gonna build a four more volcanoes, which it'll be pretty easy because there's not gonna be anything in them. I just have to kind of decide what I want them to be. One of them has to be my house Kano, and I really don't know what that means. I'd like for it to be red, you know, kind of like the red bed, but is there really any red material? I mean, you could do the nether leaves, but that would look too similar to the floor, so I don't know. I do have this one planned out, the amethyst Kano, the Am amethyst Kano. Yep, yeah, I have that one planned out, which is nice, um, which I guess these materials don't really belong in there, uh, but it's okay. We'll leave them in there anyways. We'll just put a, put, go to the corner, go to the corner. Um, yeah, and then I don't know what the other ones are gonna be, but I'll kind of I'll kind of mess with it here. We we got a while, we got all night, no rush. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. We're gonna start on the amethyst Kano, and uh, yeah, should be pretty fun. I'll I'll, I'll put my bed in, in here for now because this one doesn't have a purpose quite yet. So we'll use it as our house Kano, home Kano. That sounds better. My home Kano. <laughs> oh, I gotta quit. Okay, so I finally have like an idea of how I'm gonna do this. Now, because of the nature of these materials, and I don't really have as many, I kind of want to have like veins of amethyst going through the volcano, if that makes sense at all. But I'm going to build the base out of it out of this like, uh, I always forget what it is, smooth basalt. Uh, <laughs> now we have to make a circle again. The last time we tried to make a circle, we struggled, but I think that's because we were making it not okay. Did we just make it like that fast? Oi! Okay, so maybe the... <laughs> That's like really good actually. So maybe this one will be a little bit smaller because it's like a, uh, how you say, a precious metal. <laughs> it's only precious, but they're not a precious, but what am I talking about? I'm sorry, I've recorded so much today. It is a precious, this is almost too circular. It's a precious crystal, but is it going to be like too small? Hmm. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I need to make it a little bit bigger, honestly. Although that was nice to be able to kind of... If I build it from the inside, I feel like it's a ton easier. Okay, let's try this again. But just bigger. But not too big. But bigger. I'm turning my mouse at the same rate. Oh, we actually ended right on the block. There we go. That is more uh, in line with what I was looking for. Perfect. This this side is a little flat. <laughs> this side's a little bit flat. <laughs> we gotta, gotta come over here and get pictures. There you go. Looks good to me. Sure. 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 If there's any holes, I'm just gonna say sure and just kind of kind of deal with it. See, like this 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 part could be a little like you know, wonky, something like that. A little bit more circular there. Sure. Okay. I like it. It's a. Uh, 
a decent size, about, about the size of that one. So, I don't know what's going to go in here, not chess. So I'm going to go ahead and just go in one on the first block, like this, and then I'm going to go around and then I'll bring this layer up too. So I'll build this thing, I'll build the base out of this black material, hopefully, if I don't have enough, then I'll kind of come back. Because I'm going to have to remove a ton of it, I know we'll have enough, there's enough blocks here. It's just a matter of, can I build like the, I don't know, blank canvas first, you'll know. Okay, well the base of the Amon, Amon, Amacan, I don't want to do it. Uh, the base is done. Now, like I've been doing with the other ones, I want to go around and make sure it's nice and lit up on the outside. Probably should check on the inside too, because I don't want stuff to spawn in there uh, and blow up my nice crystals. So let's see if we can get an entrance made. I don't know how we want to get in and out of this thing. You know, it's kind of been near the center. Um, you know, I feel like the entrance should be like, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Something like this. And the reason being is that, like, I feel like this is, like, the right angle, if that makes sense, you know? Because, like, the other one was... Okay, so this one's facing this way. This one's facing... Okay. <laughs> Maybe this one should face... Maybe this one should face this way. Yeah. Well, it's okay, right? Like, like, like we, we can still go back and change these things. But for now, we'll leave it like that. And you can probably hear my cat... Yelping? I don't know. Sometimes the cats, they just, they are anger that they don't get attention. So they start going, exactly that noise. You know, I, I've had cats for a while now. I've lived with cats for like four or five years now. And uh, the, it's like a weird noise. And only some cats do it, right? And I know it just sounds weird. You're like, dude, why are you making that noise? You're cringing me out here. But like, it's, I'm serious. That's exactly how it sounds. Um, the first few times I heard it, I was like, what are you doing? Uh, I, I don't know what they're doing. I think they just want attention. <laughs> because cats don't actually meow in the wild, if you didn't know that. They don't, um, they don't communicate that way. Like at all. Oh, man, I just forgot about the lava. <laughs> so I am going to have to go get lava. That is definitely one thing I'm going to have to do. Um, wait. Oh, that's right. I was like coming in here to fix this. Fix the... To fix this, because I don't want that unevenness on my lava holder area. Okay, perfect, cool, bloop, nice, looks good on the inside too, I like it, and uh, it doesn't need any light or anything, I think it's perfectly okay in here, so I'm gonna go get some lava buckets, I'll put up the stuff for the rest of the volcano, like I said, I'm gonna kinda like, I'm gonna play with this one a little bit, I'm gonna kinda make like stripes of amethyst and calcite, it's gonna look really cool, I promise, but let me go and grab lava, oh, that's right, I don't have a giant wad of chests anymore, they're all right here. I do have a few lava buckets, I know, but I'm going to need more. So, I'm going to, like, actually put up most of my stuff, like, right into here. I'm going to assume that the only thing I need is probably that. I don't really think I'll need anything else. I hope, right? I'll just need, like, some firework rockets. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. Dude, we're all good here. Maybe. Okay. I'll meet you guys down in the, the lava area, which you guys kind of know where it is, right? It's, like, over in the temp base. All right, well, I only bonked my head a few times on the way down, and now we get to get lava, which I think over on this side, I may have a little bit of room, and we can also pick it up from right here. It's satisfying to pick up when you have a lot of buckets. Oh, it burned my torch. I'm anger. Okay, we should, this should be enough room. Why can I not pick that one up? Okay, whatever. There we go, that's 16 buckets of lava. If I somehow need more than that, I will be very concerned. Can I make my way up here? Okay, okay. So there is a way to fly up these, it's just sketchy. Okay. <laughs> Cause I'm lazy and I don't wanna like, oh wow, Ooh, that was a pretty nice fly. Or like over here, you know, yeah, that's how you do it. Now go ahead and spoil it guys. Today, or sorry, tomorrow we're gonna go get netherite. <laughs> and hopefully get some mending. Um, I don't know, maybe my first set of netherite armor I won't turn into mending because it's really not that, it's like four pieces, like whatever. Um, I don't really care about a mending sword, but if I'm gonna go to the warden, I also wanna get a bunch of wool. I know that. And we're also gonna upgrade uh, next weekend to 1.19. Okay, so let's do what we were gonna do. Um, I understand that like the entrance, we'll, we'll just leave the entrance here for now. I should probably go put up the lava buckets though. <laughs> I have quite a few lava buckets. Maybe a few more, okay, that chest is not gonna hold them. You know what, they're gonna go into the auxiliary lava bucket chest. I will put like some lava buckets in my inventory. I don't think I need any right now, but I'll put like a couple. 
<laughs> so one thing I'm gonna have to watch out for is I do need to actually build three more volcanoes and I think it's gonna be pretty simple to do um, but I need to make sure I don't build too many because well we still have the central volcano as well we still do have that central volcano so I don't know what we're gonna build that one out of who knows uh, but yeah I'm just gonna kind of for right now just like build some stripes through here if I can kind of remember the pattern like this no you know what like that there we go and uh, then I'm gonna build like some veins of amethyst through it too so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm not gonna like film a whole lot of it cuz it's gonna be real boring it's just gonna be me like putting whatever this is calcite down so I'll see you in a bit when I get some more calcite going and uh, hopefully a better structure cuz oh can I can I remember where I where all those were <laughs> oh please I don't remember wait it's right, right here and there oh that made me anxious man yeah okay okay that's that's one down all right the calcite veins are in and now I just gotta add the amethyst veins I'm actually really liking this mega base dude a mega base filled with smaller bases <laughs> I couldn't decide what to put in here so I was like oh, I'll just put in smaller bases um so yeah now we have like a nice like vein ish thing going oh we don't have a vein in the front it's really easy though like just go doop doop and then we'll sure we'll go up here and then go over and up sure something like this sure I mean it really like I cannot express to you enough it does not matter okay and now we just need to add some amethyst veins which is the more exciting part and uh, they make fun noises oh it's so nice <laughs> I, can, I can't <laughs> It's just, it, it's, it's too nice, man. It's just, it's, it's too nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna put in a bunch of amethyst veins and uh, we'll see how she turns out. I don't wanna like, maybe the amethyst should like surround the calcite or something. No, this is fine. Something like this, but there shouldn't be as like much amethyst, if that makes sense. Cause you know it's like a rarer thing so you know it's like there's not like a ton of it but there's there's like a good bit isn't <laughs> like that the antithesis of yeah, whatever man don't question my go question my logic dude don't question my logic dude i got the best logic oh no don't 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 okay cool so something like this then i can kind of branch this one off and it can go down here sure something like this i guess if it's gonna go down here it's gonna go down there too Sorry, my mouth wasn't in front of the microphone. I was probably super quiet. That That's actually bad. That's bad mic etiquette. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have done that. I think you guys will be okay, though. <laughs> I hope. Are you guys okay? <laughs> Can you guys give me confirmation? Are you guys okay? Are you guys okay? Um, Are you guys okay, though? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hope everyone out there is okay. Um, you know, it's okay not to be okay. You got to remember that. It's okay not to be okay. I'm not okay sometimes. Um... You know, I'm, I'm really not, you know, I'm just human, like all you guys. I'm just, I feel like it's sad I have to say that. That's not a good thing. <laughs> just, I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal or something. I'm just like you guys. I promise. I don't know how I got to do what I do. I really don't. Don't ask me because yeah, I'm still confused about it sometimes. I got major imposter syndrome. I think a lot of people do, but I have like extreme imposter syndrome. Uh, I don't like it when it's touching. Okay, well, let me finish up with the amethyst. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the amethyst cano is complete. I think it looks pretty sweet. <laughs> I, should, that's, I shouldn't rhyme like that. That's too many rhymes. Yeah, I, th I think it looks pretty good, guys. I like it. Um, you know, some places maybe I'll change a little bit, but for the most part, it's nice and amethysty and you know basalty. I think it looks pretty good. So now we got to decide what we're gonna do for the next volcano. I think the next one is gonna be built right there, and it's gonna be made out of a deep slate. I think <laughs> I'm trying to think of materials I have a lot of and I keep forgetting that my materials aren't right out there so I think I'm gonna build it out of deep slate but maybe we'll do like a nice andesite or hmm we could do one out of smooth hmm, I don't know cuz the main volcano is built out of smooth stone uh, we have a lot of stones though so don't worry we could do a mixture of calcite and uh, diorite that could be cool call it a white cano I don't know <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah Oh yeah, hold on guys. Almost forgot the most important part. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, first of all, we gotta make sure there's enough on the inside to where we can see them. So like, we'll just kind of throw these down randomly. I know these won't grow or anything, but it's, it's still gonna be nice to have them in here. Okay, there we go. Now now at least there's, there's, there's a decent bit. 
But on the outside, we have to make sure that we put a lot of big ones. Lots of big ones. Like this. Like this. So I'll run around and put those down. Okay. So I have all the amethyst crystals down. Oh, yeah. Looks much better. I can't believe I almost forgot the most important part of the of the amethyst cano. Okay. So now we're going to do the next one out of... And I, I keep, like, putting the resources back into here. I probably shouldn't do that, but I don't think I'm going to need the amethyst crystals anymore. And these guys can't, like... You can't make these back into, like, amethyst crystals, can you? No, you can make them into blocks, though. Oh, so the blocks are renewable? Hmm. I guess I kind of knew that. So what I'm going to do is the standard thing. You, know, you guys remember where I was, like, uh... <laughs> I think we should use probably more diorite, right? Yeah. More diorite than calcite. And this pallet should look pretty good, right? Oh, yeah. I love those together, actually. Sweet. Okay. So, I'll get on. I'll, I'll build this one entirely off camera. You guys have seen enough uh, volcano buildings. And then, when I'm done with that, I'll come back and uh, we'll see how she looks. Won't be super big either, but we'll make a good size. All right, guys, it's complete. We just gotta, oh, we just gotta put the lava down, find out where it does not go. So hopefully all the way over there, please do that too. So that means I can put this one here and it will for sure. Yes. Okay, guys, we're good. All right, so this one is complete aside from like the exterior lighting, which we'll deal with in a moment. Let's kind of find where the entrance, okay, the entrance on this one for sure, sure, foot. <laughs> I can't speak. Foot. Oh no, the entrance on this one should for sure be right here. Jeez, dude, that was like, that was like really hard to say for some reason. You know, like when you try to think of something in your head and then you try to say it, it just like, you, your brain scrambles it. It's like, uh, it's like you're playing scramble craft, but in your brain. Uh, we just need one piece of wood and then we need some shroom lights, which I thought I, did I not, did I put them in here? Yeah, I did. Um, so some shroom lights to light up the exterior and then we're going to move on to the next Kano. Uh, we'll call this, yeah, this one's the white Kano, right? Because it's just white. <laughs> There's nothing really special about it at all. Uh, but now, hopefully, we can eventually find a use for it. I, I am sure we can. Um, again, one of these is going to be like the villager breeder and stuff. But, I don't know, I really like this palette. I'm a fan of it. I think it looks pretty beautiful. Uh, let's just go on the outside here. Make sure everything is lit. Nope, right here needs some light for sure. Uh, honestly, even right there is kind of dark for a little shroom light. Okay. Nice. I'm a fan. So now we got to figure out what the next one's going to be. Because <laughs> I really... <laughs> I have no idea. I'm trying to think of other colors. But I feel like we have most of our bases covered here. Like, for the most part, right? Like, there's not really... I still love this thing, dude. This is such a unique way to... I'm so happy I thought of this. I always dog on myself for not being a creative person. But then I can... Then I can argue, maybe, you know, I am a little creative. Why didn't I use this? Why didn't I mix this in with it? This in with the palette. Isn't this like the same color, kind of? Yeah, we could have mixed that in. Oh, geez. So whatever volcano is next to this one should not be anything similar to the granite color. That one, you may get away with it. Uh, I just can't think of any anything else that's like non-flammable. Because I don't want to build it out of these because our floor is. Let me think. I mean, we could do a glass cano, but like, I don't think... I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Like, that just seems weird to me. We could do it with, like, tinted glass. We don't have enough tinted glass. But, I mean, we can dye this glass whatever color. Ooh. Nah, I don't know. Okay, I have the answer. And it's, uh, it's actually different than all the other ones. And I think it'll look pretty good. If I do say so myself. Okay, so we need tough. <laughs> I think it's the funniest material. We need tough. We need stone. And then probably andesite, I'm thinking. So tough, stone, and andesite. Do we have any more tough? <laughs> it's like the funniest material in the world. Oh gosh, poor tough. I'm just making fun of you, tough. Okay, and then we have to kind of, you know, do the thing, right? So, okay, so we have stone, and then andesite, then tough. Then stone. Oh wow, it's going to be actually perfectly, uh, like, balanced. And this is enough stuff to build, like, one volcano. Like, I didn't even use my whole, like, hot bar whenever I did it. And we'll probably, we'll put this one right here. So, now I'll build this one and we'll see how it looks. Let's just, here, I'll scroll my wheel. We'll just look at the palette and see how it looks. Yeah, I like that palette. Oh, dude, I love palette building with this now. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, well, uh, I'll build a volcano out of this stuff. 
This one looks really good. I like this one. It turned out really big. It's like as big as the chest one, which is fine. It's okay if some are bigger than the others. I mean, this one is very big too. I think, I think this one is the smallest one by far, maybe. But even then, it's still pretty big. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with the way. Oh, hmm. <laughs> oh, I actually, you know what? You know what I can do? Since I had to like kind of funnel it inward at the top a little bit, I can probably go over here. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna need to shape this one a little bit more. Uh, yeah, we can just literally go around like this and just kind of whack off some of the top up here because it looks a little bit strange in its current form, uh, which is never a good thing. But yeah, I was going to say, let's do the lava buckets, uh, which we still, still can do in like two seconds. Hold on. Okay. So we probably need one like right there. I know we're going to need one right there. And then probably, let's see, maybe one like right there. But surely this one's going to... Oh, okay. Okay, we need another lava. I, I thought three lava buckets would be enough. Okay, no, I guess not. Okay, so I'll finish putting the lava in there. I'll shape it a little bit more because it does look a little bit strange. And then uh, I'll pick the palette for the next one. I'll come back and show it off, then do the same thing and kind of build it. I don't know what, like, palette we're going to do. I was kind of confused on what to do for this one. Uh, but I like it. It's different than all the rest. I'm trying to do one that's even more different than all the rest next time. Um, I just don't know what that will be, so... All right, let me shape this thing a little bit and uh, see what I can come up with. Okay, guys, I have all the materials I'm going to need. I made brown terracotta from cocoa beans, which was nice. Um, I had to get more clay, which is fine. Then I also found a silk touch uh, shovel. And, uh, or sorry, I, I made a silk touch shovel back at the old base. And, uh, yeah, I think, we're, this is, I think this is a pretty good palette, right? A dirt cano with some grass on top. Because look at this. Look at that. Oh yeah, dude. It's gonna look pretty sweet. Let me build it. Okay, don't mind me just putting up the finishing touches on the grass nado. This thing looks cool. The grass nado, like a tornado. Have I been saying nado now? Oh jeez. But yeah, I'm really happy with all these volcanoes. It's kind of an odd base, but I like it. Um, of course, we still have to build the central volcano. I don't know what it's going to be made of. Um, I'm trying to think. Hey, what is a material that we have not used? Like, what's a color here? Like, we have brown. We have gray. We have, like, tan. We have, like, really dark. We have amethyst. We have white. But, like, I can't think of any other blocks that, like, we haven't used. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll use a mix of terracottas and concretes or something. Um, but either way, yeah, I mean, the mobs are going to have to fall in there. I don't know if I'm going to build that volcano this episode or not. Let me think and see if I can come up with something. Because this episode has literally already taken six hours to record. There's been a lot of gathering of materials, and I really got to shape this thing. It's actually bugging me. So hold on. I'll shape this thing. I'll try to brainstorm something for this. Because this is really not in the center, if I'm honest with you. Like, it's, it's not in the center of these volcanoes. The center would be more, like, right here-ish. So, I don't know how that would work. Um, I, I, I can't change where all the mobs go. Like, trust me, it's not going to work. So, maybe I could. Yeah, I mean, okay, I guess I could do that. I don't know. Let me let me brainstorm and get something done. All right, guys. Well, I'm getting kind of low on food. I did modify where this thing fell to be about the center, which means we've got to remove all of these hoppers, which is fine. I'm pretty sure they stole most of my scaffolding. I don't, I don't really know. Oh, I guess I have 55, so I didn't lose that much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to move this hopper array. I think it was 5x5, five five, I think. I don't know. Did I get 25 hoppers? 26, yep, because one ran into there. Um, and this is like, it's closer to the center. It's not in the exact center, but it's way closer to the center. So what I'm going to do is try to build a volcano somewhere around here. Now, the problem is, is that the, the they're, well, I guess they're not going to die if they fall. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, they're not going to die if they fall. If I put them at the top, which I've been doing all the tops at seven Y72. Um, so if I put them at the top, I don't, oh, there's another piece. Um, I don't think that they're going to like die. So I'm going to kind of try to center myself on this hole. Okay. And then I'll mark it with like, I don't know, that? Sure. And then I'll build the chest array like over here or something. I don't know. I can probably break these. These don't have anything in them. You have, yes, you have my... Oh, where'd the other two go, dude? Where'd the other two go? Okay, so if it's going to be five, that means there's going to be three sticking off of there. Okay, and then it'll run into like a chest like right here. Sure. That is perfectly fine. Okay, so now I have to build it centered onto here. This is actually more difficult than you'd think because I'm just trying to make sure they don't I don't know 
as long as they all run into each other, they should eventually make it into the chest because, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Oh, okay. So there's one less. Oh, because this isn't filled in. Okay. So now this is in the center. So we have to make sure that the volcano at least in contains this stuff, like encompasses this stuff. It's like this has got to be filled in. I will keep this here so I remember it's there. Um, I don't think the central volcano is really going to be much bigger, but it is going to be bigger. We'll put some path blocks in here and stuff. I've just got to decide what am I going to put as a center volcano? What material type? This is a seven hour episode. If you guys aren't subscribed, please do subscribe because you're going to be missing out on some amazing stuff like this. This is probably the coolest thing I've ever built. I'll be completely honest. I thought I, I think every season is like the best thing I've ever built, but like this is by far like, oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so we're going to do an ice cano. So I remember an ice spike biome, uh, like really, really far away. I don't know how far away, but, uh, I need, this is all contingent on if I can get a silk touch diamond pickaxe. Now I believe I have enough diamonds to make this work. Yeah, I have enough diamonds. Now, literally the only thing this is contingent on is whether or not I get silk touch because this pickaxe is about to break and I definitely cannot repair it. So I'll meet you guys at the lighthouse. This is a big cliffhanger right here. Oh yeah, I might need some food too. <laughs> I might need a little bit of food and I don't, I don't, okay. I'll, t I'll take the bread. I'll take the bread. Bread's fine. And then some shulker boxes just so I can store some materials. Probably just three is fine. Okay. I'm going to, I don't have my boom box. That's very bad. Okay. Do I need anything else in here? No, probably not. But a boom box definitely because I'm going to be flying very far away. Now, I remember which direction my spawn is in. I don't remember where the ice spike biome is. Believe you me, I have no earthly idea. So, yeah, let's go to the lighthouse first before we travel too far and see if we can even get silk touch. You know, it's good that we're getting over here. I'm trying to, I know I'm wasting rockets, but I got to get over here quick because we got to sleep, guys. We really, really got to sleep. Okay, now I just have to make my way over to my volcano. Not my volcano, sorry. I've been recording for like 10 hours now. I still got three more episodes to go, but that's fine. The next ones are going to be exploring stuff. So it's going to be very fun and it won't take the too, too long to record. Um, yeah, we'll just make one axe. I feel like that's easy. Some people say, Neo, just roll the enchants if they're not going to be good. Wait, why did I make an axe? <laughs> yeah, you could tell I've been recording for a while. Okay, we'll put them in there. Okay, geez. All right, let's, uh, where's my lapis? Okay, I must have taken it to the volcano. <laughs> hey, there might be some in here. Hey, don't lose hope. There might be some lapis in here because it's something I always have a lot of. And I'm, yes. I was like, please, I don't want to go mining. I don't want to go mining, Gabe. Please don't make me go. Okay, maybe if it's a short distance, I shouldn't fly. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe they should make a half rocket. Can they, can they make a half rocket? Just for me, okay? Just for me. Uh, I need silk touch. It, this whole thing is contingent on it if I get silk touch. I can go to my mob spawner and grind it some and, and get more levels, but like... No one breaking, but dude, I'm going to take it. Okay, so I have my repaired silk touch pick that I used to get that grass. And uh, we have everything else we're going to need. Um, okay, so let's just start flying home. I'll, uh, come back whenever I find the ice spike biome. Don't know when that's gonna be. I think it was, like, over... Somewhere over here, I don't know. Okay, now, before I get too far... What is that? <laughs> it must be a messed up mushroom. I was gonna go over here and, uh, get some sheep. Because I really do need wool to make a bed. Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep. So, will you still only give one wool when I kill you? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. As long as I can get three... You know what? I don't have any food. I should probably keep the button. Okay, I'm gonna keep on flying. I, I'll let you know if I see a woodland mansion too. I mean, we're so far away from where our OG spawn is. Ooh, cool. Um, that there might be a woodland mansion all the way out here. You just never know. I have found a very tall tree in a very big jungle. It's kind of nice. This is like the highest tree, I think, in the whole jungle, right? Yeah, it's like up on a mountain. It's pretty sweet. This whole area looks pretty dang beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, I could have had my house in here. Oh, and there's a lush cave. Hey, well, you know, keep it in mind. Keep it in mind, because look at that. Nice lush cave in here. I almost said I mind it. I don't mind it at all. That looks pretty cool. 
Okay, so I do need to be weary that my uh, elytra doesn't have on breaking three, and if it breaks and I fall, I just die. Unless I can land a MLG bucket. So maybe I can like stop periodically and just kind of go on a little killing sprees or something. I, I guess. I mean, I literally don't know of any other way to repair it. So I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. There we go. Already got a little bit more durability. And now we can fly more. Okay. Well, we have entered a snowy biome. Which, I mean, that doesn't like for sure mean there's going to be one. But there's a lot better of a chance of something being around here as opposed to... Let's go! Thank you, I needed a break, Minecraft. I needed a break, dude. I, I needed a break and I really appreciate this. I will not let you down, Minecraft. Oh, this is a big one too. And this is definitely not the one near my spawn because there was not anything massive like this. Oh, dude, I'm seriously so happy right now. Flew straight into an ice spike bio. So I don't know if I'm gonna use a chunk deleter whenever I update to Minecraft 1.19. I don't think I will. I think I'll just fly really far in one direction and call it good because I still haven't flown in that one direction that I had pointed out. Also, where's the blue ice at? Because I get this stuff when I break it. Yeah. And it's really easy to break. Where's that dark blue ice? Is that is that somewhere? Is it is it underwater? Is it like down here? Is this it? Is this different ice? No, this is a packed ice. This the same dang thing. Where's the blue ice? Wait. No. How do you get blue ice? Okay, to the wiki then. Wiki, help me. So it is what I thought. It's in the central part of the glaciers. So like in here, I guess. Is it? Is it going to be? Are you in the central part? Oh, wow. There's like a cave in the glacier. Is that, is that, a, is that a thing? Are there really ice caves in these biomes? Dude, this is wild. So I don't know where the central part is. Because I haven't gotten any blue ice. I don't know. Will this ice melt, by the way? Or maybe only the blue ice doesn't melt? I really don't know, guys. Wait, if there's going to be lava pouring into it, won't it just melt? Do I have a lava bucket? I don't have a lava bucket with me. You know what? We're going to go on a hope and a dream that this doesn't melt. Because I'm pretty sure the only kind of ice that will melt is this ice. The ice that, like, spawn... Is this... That's the same kind of ice. Oh, hold a darn flippin' tootin' second here. Wait, no, there's no lava pouring into this one. But will the shroom lights... I don't know. Let me get a bunch of ice, guys, and I'll be back in a bit. And then we'll look for the blue ice. Someone said it's in the central part of the glaciers. Not someone. The wiki said it was in the central part. This is a big ice spike biome. Wow. That's, that's blue ice for sure. Cool. Yeah, because I seriously... I mean, this is not, this is not where I spawned. If I would have spawned here, I would have lived in this biome. Oh, it's even slower. What's it called? Blue ice? Cool. Okay, well, I'm going to definitely mine this whole thing of blue ice, so I'll be back in just a bit here. Okay, well, I've been collecting so much ice. I think I have... Where's my ice? Well, okay, I thought I lost my ice. I was like, no, no, no. Um, however much is blue is the important thing. Because I am I know that blue ice is special because it does not melt, Right? And then with my silk touch, I can hopefully get um, some actual like snow blocks as well. Should probably pick up my bed. <laughs> probably be a good idea. Um, let's see if we can find any other like blue ice around here. I love having my render distance up this high, but it really does kill my frames sometimes. Okay, this is a nice little polar bear den. Uh, I, I don't mean to disturb your greatness, so just don't mind me. Okay, there is no way that I'm going to use that much uh, packed or that much blue ice, which is perfect. So I thought there was an original like kind of ice, remember, that was like more clear than that. But it, maybe I'm misremembering something. Um, so now we need to find actual snow blocks, which I don't think that'll be too hard. I need to be careful about my elytra. I need to be careful about my elytra. I can't forget because seriously, I mean, I, I will lose the world if I just like fall like that. Like that would be like literally the worst thing ever. Um, so now I just have to get a bunch of snow. Which, I mean, it shouldn't be too hard, right? <laughs> I don't want to say that. It's kind of scary getting it on this uh, peak right here, but hopefully there's some smaller areas I can get or some, some shallower areas I can get this from because yeah, this would take a while. It's probably only like, yeah, you know, it's only a couple stacks. That one looks a little bit better. We'll go over there. I need to kill some stuff because I'm going to, uh, I'm going to lose all my, uh, 
I'm losing my durability. So I'm going to be getting this snow. Don't mind me. And uh, come back and uh, hopefully I'll meet you guys at the volcano. We should have enough stuff. See you in a bit. I knew it was different. I knew it was different. I was, I was going to say, I swear there's like some clear ice. This ice, so there's, there's ice, packed ice, and then blue ice. How do I not know these things? I know. Some people said, I, I've gotten some very mean comments that are like, how can this be your job? Oh, yeah. How can this be your job and you don't know what you're talking about at all? And I'm like, dude, I'm just, I'm just chilling, man. I'm just, I'm just doing me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Never claimed to. Okay, well, I'm back at home. I have everything we're going to need. I did not fall and die from the elytra. Thank you. Thank God. Um, so I think I have everything I'm going to need. And then, of course, I have some more, I think, shulker boxes. I think they're in there. Um, but yeah, we need to make the volcano head or the top tip, whatever you want to call it. The I, I really don't know what you'd call it. The top of the volcano, I guess, needs to be big enough to withstand all this. So it's going to have to be fairly large. And uh, I have these going snow blue packed snow blue packed so you this is already in like an hour and 18 minutes or so so i need to get speed i need to speed up so let me build this thing real quick i'll go ahead and throw the pallet down just so you can get a little gander at it see how she looks oh yeah i don't see much blue in there yeah there we go oh that's gonna be a dirty that's gonna be a dirty kano the ice kano okay guys ice kano is done it really wasn't that hard at all and uh it appears to be like I, I tried to get it as even as possible at the top. The hole seems to still work just good. You know, we have a little bit of stuff in there, um, but I'm happy with it. So thank you guys for watching episode. I don't remember. what I think this is episode 29. I'm pretty sure, but don't quote me. And uh, yeah, I'm super, super, super excited for tomorrow's episode because we're going to get another right finally. And then next weekend, oh, next weekend, we're going to explore the 1.19 features. So make sure that you are in the... Uh, in the community by subscribing. If you don't want to subscribe, though, that's okay, too. You you do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. But thank you guys for watching. The secret code for today's episode, 9834. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of episode 29. I think that's the right episode. I don't know. It's been a long... This is like a seven-hour seven episode, maybe. Maybe even eight. I don't know anymore. All I know is that... If this video doesn't, you know, at least get one out of ten on the views, I'll be I'll be upset. This thing's cool, man. Like this is legitimately like really cool. It is a tad bit dark up there. Does ice allow light through it at all? Like if I were to like put like if I put a shroom light up there, does that light up the outside too? I feel like I feel like ice should let in a little. Oh, it doesn't let in any light. Okay, never mind. Um, I don't know then. I don't know how I can light up the outside of that thing. Oh, that's right. You need a hoe to break these. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I really love this base, man. This is so cool.